attention. Music. Experience. I am Lori Goldston. I live in Seattle. I'm on tour in Europe. Uh, playing some solo shows and some collaborations, and I'm here in uh, Gravina to play a concert and um, do an improvisation workshop. I started playing music when I was seven, playing guitar, and then when I was around 12, uh, when it's time to maybe pick an instrument to play in the orchestra in school, I chose cello partly because somebody at some point when they were maybe demonstrating the instruments to all the kids said that it, the cello was a little bit like the guitar, which I don't think is true. I think it was totally, I think that was a lie, but it worked on me. <laughs> and I've been, so I've been playing it ever since and for a long time cello and I spent maybe equal time playing cello and guitar um, throughout high school and then once I went to college it sort of it turned into cello much more. So. My preference is to play a lot of kinds of music all the time so I uh, there are many kinds that I enjoy but if I am in a period where maybe because of work, um, I've, I'm always looking, for, I think, for new things to learn about a new musical systems and um, new ways of thinking about playing. And I like also to be able, I like to be sort of ex extending my the range of kind of my voice on the instrument and so I enjoy having to kind of adapt my voice as a player to different situations. I think there are a lot of the same questions and I think that there are um, different um, kinds of you know, technique and accuracies for each one. And um, I, you know, I wouldn't want to live in a world without either one. I think it's a good, it's a good balance. I, um, I've been spending, I go back and forth and I've been spending almost all of my time improvising lately, but then I um, have been drawn back to maybe written composition lately, partly because I feel like there's um, such a beautiful history from musicians from, you know, whatever, thousands of years ago. And some of that is handed from person to person in, in person, but so much of it is um, handed from uh, written music. So I think really very magical information in music scores and um, some of it's there and some of it's not there, you know, and so we sometimes don't even know how things were played or what was implied in music, in written music, that was very obvious to people who lived at that time, but now it's maybe lost information. But I have been um, missing, like, the, the feeling of being in that continuum and I think maybe stepping away from it for a while has been nice and then maybe come back to it in that way and um, thinking about 
the things that I've learned about music and what I've gotten from it and what it's meant to me and then to um, try to put that into a score, not just the notes but a, a lot of other unspeakable uh, information. So that's, so that, yeah, so I've been looking forward to trying to carve out some time where I can really focus on that and really really pack it in in that way and think about it um, coming through even more information than you realize at the time. You know. So, uh, yeah, maybe try to make something, you know, really substantial that somebody could really spend some time with, you know. Because I also, I mean, as an improviser, like I said, I'm always, if I'm doing one thing, I always kind of miss all the other things I'm not doing. and. Um, so I've been really missing also that feeling of um, sitting down and working on a, a piece of chamber music with somebody and try to just get as much of that information, talking about it, and you, you, you could play it for months, and, you know, every day for months, and you still are learning things from it. There's still something else. Italian music's really complicated because the, the, um, there's so many regions and so specific, so that would be a wonderful thing to study more. The main connection with Italian music is uh, from opera, and I, uh, opera's always been very important to me because it was really, when I was a kid, the only person who was in my whole family who was really interested in music at all was my grandmother and she would come visit and we would listen to the opera broadcast every Saturday when it was very little and I always, it was really nice, it's a very sweet memory for me. So, um, and aside from that, there is kind of like um, maybe old nostalgic Italian music that's in the air around New York a lot, so there, the, all the, you know, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra lovers that I grew up around. But, yeah. <laughs> Free Flow Festival. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs>